100,000 fans in Pasadena's Rose Bowl see Michigan, the Big Ten champs, meet the Oregon State Beavers in the 51st annual Classic. Oregon surprises early in the game by driving 84 yards in 10 plays as Paul Brothers completes six consecutive passes. Brothers to Doug McDougall. Underdog Oregon is on top, but not for long. In the second quarter, Michigan right half Carl Ward takes a pitch out the long way around as he cuts over and back on a 43-yard jaunt. The Michigan Wolverines are on their way to trap the Beavers and skin them alive. Bob Timberlake, Michigan's All-American quarterback, hands off to Detweiler for a game that leads to another handoff to Mel Anthony. This is Mel's third touchdown of the game, which ties a Rose Bowl record. Timberlake to Detweiler again as Michigan completes the route of Oregon State. The final touchdown is scored by Timberlake himself with a beautiful bit of faking as he goes round the flank. Everything comes up roses for the Michigan Wolverines this year as they crush Oregon 34 to 7. In the Dallas Cotton Bowl, Big 8 champion Nebraska meets undefeated Arkansas. The Nebraska Cornhuskers have Bob Churchich at quarterback, and he teams up with Harry Wilson for a 36-yard sideline play that's the key to a touchdown. Wilson keeps the ball rolling with a 10-yard smash that brings the pigskin to the one-yard line. Then it's Wilson again, over from the one-yard line, and the Cornhuskers lead 7-3 at the half. It's not until the final period that favored Arkansas, sparked by Fred Marshall, begins a winning drive. Marshall carries a twisting 11 yards. Then Marshall, the Arkansas traveler, gets airborne to Jim Lindsay, a 28-yarder. Marshall completes 11 of 19 today. Reserve tailback Bobby Burnett takes a pitch out. And with less than five minutes to play, Arkansas chalks up a Cotton Bowl victory. The Razorbacks were pretty sharp today. Syracuse and Louisiana State mount some sweet football at New Orleans. In the first half, an LSU punt is blocked by Denny Riley, and Brad Clark swoops in to scoop it up and romp 28 yards for a score. Added to an earlier field goal, the Orange leads favored Louisiana at the half, 10-2. LSU's points were scored on a safety. LSU gets going in the second half with a bomb, a pass that Billy Azell gets away to Doug Moreau. The flanker back loses his defenders and goes 57 yards as the boys begin to record the Louisiana story. Trailing 10 to 8, LSU goes for two points. Azell to Joe Labruzzo and the game is tied up 10 all. Pat Screen, at quarterback for LSU, moves them down the field with a 36-yard play that has Labruzzo on the receiving end. The clock keeps ticking away, less than four minutes left, when LSU calls a Moreau's good right foot. The kick is good, and LSU has a sweet Sugar Bowl victory, 13-10. They peel the wrappings off a thriller in the Orange Bowl as the nation's number one team, Alabama, kicks off to Texas. It proves to be the game of games among the bowl tilts. The fireworks go off in the first quarter as Ernie Coy makes like a take charge guy and he roars 79 yards for Texas with just seconds left in the first quarter. It foreshadows things to come in this first nighttime Orange Bowl Classic. Joe Namath is quarterback for Alabama, and despite a leg injury, he completes a record number of passes for Orange Bowl play. One follows another, and this one, Dwayne Trimble, chalks up the first Alabama score. Namath has been signed by the New York Jets, and next year he'll be in professional ranks. Texas comes up with horseshoes again as Alabama blocks a field goal attempt. There's a loose ball for several long seconds before Dave Ray of Alabama picks it up and starts on his way. But Ray gets butterfingers, and when things are untangled, Texas has recovered. Texas keeps the pressure on. Jim Hudson to Pete Lemons, who makes a diving catch. That's doing the impossible. Then it's another Texas score as Ernie Coy is over for his second touchdown. 
Joe Namath, the man with the solid gold arm, hits Ray Perkins with a 20-yard bullet pass, and Alabama pulls closer. With a field goal in the fourth quarter, they trail 21 to 17. With minutes to go, Namath moves the ball to the six-yard line with a pass to Ray Ogden. First down, goal to go. Texas makes a stand that is their Alamo. They hold Steve Bowman for three line plunges. With fourth down, the ball is on the half-yard line, and Nemeth tries to carry it over himself. He is stopped, and Texas upsets the mighty Alabama team with a last-ditch defense that could become a football classic. <laughs> 